Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make the third person character sprint. This will be very easy to follow and without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, what you want to do is open Unreal Engine, whichever version you have will be fine as long as it's 5. You want to go to games and create a third person or first person you know, project, whichever one you choose will be fine. I uh, set mine to scalable but you don't have to. Just name this sprint. Okay, let's save that. Once it opens, what you want to do first is find the inputs for the character. So go to third person, input and input actions. Then you want to right click, go down to inputs here and input action. Type IA for input action underscore sprint. And then go back to input, IMC default and create a new input for the action. So underneath mappings, you want to create a new action mapping. Then in the drop down, go to your newly created input action, IA underscore sprint. Click the drop down to the left here, and you can either find shift, type shift in here and find it, or just click here and then click shift on your keyboard. Save that. Then what you want to do is go to a third person blueprints and the third person character blueprint. You want to create two functions and two variables and we'll start with the function so click b plus here next to functions create a new function and name this start sprint and create another function and name it stop sprint this will make it so when you press the left shift key it will sprint and then when you stop when you wait you start here and then stop here now we want to create two new variables, first one will be the walk speed and it needs to be a float and again you will want to have your sprint speed and it should automatically be a float but if it's not just click here and select float. Then what you want to do is go to start sprint and left click and drag your character movement and drop it here. Then from the character movement component, you want to drag off and type in set max walk speed, which is here. You want to connect this and go to the variable you made, sprint speed, hold it and drag it into the max walk speed here. Or you could either just hold control, put it there and then connect it, or alternatively hold it, just drag it in there and then either put get or set. For this, we will be getting it, so get it and then put it in there. Then you want to go to stop sprint. We could either actually copy and paste this, but for the tutorial purpose, I'll just do it again. Character movement, set max walk speed. Then you want to drag from the walk speed variable and put it there. Compile and save. Then go back to the event graph up here. Find any open space. I usually do it below, so I'll go down here right click and type uh, IA underscore sprint which is the input action we made go drag off triggered and type in start sprint which will call the function you made drag off completed and call stop sprint once that's done that will be everything compile save go back and you can test it out and as you can see it hasn't worked this is because we didn't compile and set the walk or sprint speed so you want to set the walk speed to about 400 or the sprint speed and the sprint speed to about 800 just double compile and save and that will work perfectly fine so you have the walking animation or the running one when you press left shift you sprint and that will be everything um, just to explain in a bit more detail, the functions, what functions are, are essentially just an extra space where you can write code to get everything to look more smooth. So instead of writing all this in the event graph, we can just make a function and then call that function straight to the input action. It just makes everything a bit more near, you know, and you can reuse that code in another one. So let's say we made another input action. For whatever reason we can just call that same function without having to rewrite all the logic and that will be everything for this tutorial 
make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thank you and have a blessed day.